In this video, I will backtest the magic buy sell RSI indicator scalping strategy created by Quantum Trading Strategies that claims to have 100% success rate. I got a request to review this strategy by one of you guys, so yeah, let's do it. I will backtest it 100 times with an initial account size set at $1,000 with 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio. The creator says that this strategy works perfectly well on a Bitcoin 5 minute chart. This strategy consists of two free trading view indicators, so let's go ahead and add them to our chart. For the first indicator, we will choose Chandelier Exit. This indicator by Evergett. And for the second indicator, let's search for RSI. And we will add two of them. Now we need to adjust these indicators. So let's first double click on a Chandelier Exit. And in the Star section, remove everything that is unnecessary. Also, let's change the positions for these labels. Now we're going to need to change the inputs. Also, let's untick this option. Okay, now let's make some adjustments to our relative strength index. For the first RSI, we will set the length at 100. And in the style section, let's get rid of everything except of this RSI. Now let's adjust the second RSI. We will change the length from 14 to 25. And again, in the style section, we'll remove everything except for this RSI. Okay, now let's merge them together. Also make sure that you pin both of them to the scale Z. Okay, the strategy is complete. Let's get into the trading rules. Okay, we're only going to be looking to buy if we have a new buy signal issued by the chandelier exit indicator. The next condition will be to have a new bullish cross on the RSI indicator, which means the yellow line has to cross above the blue line. This cross can either happen at the same time the chandelier exit indicator issues a buy signal, or it can happen a bit later. We see here we just got a cross, and this is going to be our trigger candlestick. So we will place a buy order at the close of our candlestick. We will set a stop loss at the recent swing low. And for simplicity purposes, we're going to be targeting 1.5 times the risk. Exactly opposite rules apply for short trades. We're only going to be looking to sell if we have a new sell signal issued by the chandelier exit indicator. And the next condition will be to have the faster RSI crossing below the slower RSI. We see the cross just happen right there and this is going to be our trigger candlestick. We will set our stop loss at the recent swing high and we will be targeting 1.5 times the risk. Also, I want to give you a couple more examples where you wouldn't have taken a trade. So for example, this buy signal right here issued by the chandelier exit was not valid because the RSI cross happened way before this signal. Also, this sell signal was not valid because the cross happened way earlier. We see the rules for this strategy are very simple, yet I'm not quite sure whether this strategy is good at eliminating losses when the market is moving sideways. For that, we're going to need to do our backtesting with the goal to find the true win rate of this strategy. Okay, just finished the backtesting and as we can see the win rate for the strategy is 54% and we increased our account size by 94.81%. The results are pretty good, the strategy is definitely making money, but I must say these results are not even close to the ones that were promised in the video. The profit factor for the strategy is 1.76 and we had 6 consecutive wins against 9 consecutive losses. So in the second part of this video I will try to improve the strategy and make the win rate a bit higher. Okay, now let's add another indicator to our chart that will change everything. So the indicator is called Volume Weighted Average Price. 
and we're going to need to make some minor adjustments to this indicator. So in the style section, let's remove these upper and lower bands and the bands fill. We will also make the VWAP a bit more visible. Okay, the strategy is ready. Let's get into the trading rules. Okay, so for a short position to be valid, we first need to have a new sell signal issued by the chandelier exit indicator. The RSI has to issue a new bearish cross. That can either happen on this candlestick where we had a signal from the chandelier exit indicator or a bit later. Also, the price has to be closed below the VWAP. The money management rules are going to stay the same. Exactly opposite is true for longs. We're only going to be looking to buy if the price is closed above the VWAP line. We also need to have a new buy signal issued by the chandelier exit indicator. And we need to have an RSI cross where the yellow line crosses above the blue line. So just by adding the VWAP to our chart, we eliminated all these bad buy signals because we see the overall trend is bearish. So that was the main problem with the strategy. It was reacting to the price changes really quickly. I also want to give you a couple more examples where you wouldn't have entered the trade. So for example, we had a buy signal issued by the Chandelier X indicator. The price is closed above the VWAP, but the RSI crossed happened a few candlesticks earlier so we would have ignored this signal. Here is an example for a short trade you would have taken. We see we had a sell signal issued by the chandelier exit and the price has closed above the baseline. But it doesn't matter because we had a final confirmation from the RSI issued on this candlestick right here. So we would have taken this winning trade. This volume weighted moving average works even better than the regular standard moving average. So let's actually do our backtesting and see if the results are any better. Okay traders, I just finished the backtesting and the results are absolutely amazing. Our win rate is 67% and we increased our account size by 272.01%. Of course, these numbers will be different when trading live because of high spreads and fees. The profit factor for the strategy has increased a lot. It's 3.05 and we had 13 consecutive wins against 3 consecutive losses. And it took around 5 weeks to find those 100 setups. So this is just to prove that adding a baseline to the chart can be really helpful. In terms of win rate, this strategy is sitting on a 12th place. So I would say you should definitely go ahead and backtest it and forward test it on different markets and different timeframes as well. Okay, that's it for this video. I'm off. See you in the next one.